Um, I think that I think that the pipeline issue plays very differently regionally, and I'd like you to focus on what what that means, what you're seeing, and how you think it plays out. Yeah, I think on the pipelines, it's it's it is a polarizing issue, and people are very clear on on what those polar extremes are. I mean, on the on the one hand, it is Albertan saying that that this is a national unity crisis. Um, if we don't increase uh, pipeline capacity, um, our economic future is jeopardized. Um, and on the right, you have, um, or sorry, on the left, you have uh, environmentalists saying, you know, pipelines are, are 40, 50, 60 year assets. Um, how can we invest uh, today in, in that sort of greenhouse gas capacity? Because that's how they, how they view the issue. In the middle is 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 a you know the silent majority of Canadians who are trying to come to some sort of uh, internal consensus on that um, economic development on one side, environmental protection on the other, trying to find that that middle ground, and and they're seeing you know as the the liberal. Um, uh, environmental regulations come into effect as the carbon price comes into effect. They're seeing that there there are costs of of near near term costs for for action, uh, but as they're seeing wildfires and flooding and heavy rains, they're seeing there's there's near term cost of inaction. So what does that that middle ground look like? I think in Alberta and Saskatchewan, um, they want pipelines, and there's not a lot of votes uh, to be had leaning anywhere but but there. Mm -hmm. um, Even the previous NDP government in Alberta was focused on getting pipelines done. For, for sure, right? for sure. Uh, in BC and Quebec, it's it's sort of as far on the other side of the spectrum generally. Um, you know, uh, Premier Legault uh, continues to say in Quebec, you know, we're happy to talk energy corridors in terms of hydroelectricity and even potentially natural gas, oil in Quebec, Politics is is a third rail, um, and he just won't go there. And without uh, Quebec's uh, participation, um, it's very difficult to envision a, an energy corridor to the Atlantic provinces. 